Hey guys, I'm Joey. That might be waterproof, and this is Over the Tape. Welcome back to Over the Table. Today we are going to see if this Ziploc bag can protect your phone from water and maybe could be used as an underwater case. We will find out. Alright, what we've got here is a Ziploc bag and an iPhone 5C. If you like iPhone, give this video a thumbs up. So, to start, what we are going to do is we are going to test our plastic bag just as a secondary safety. We're going to fill it up with some air. We're going to seal it off just to make sure that it's sealed. And this seems to be sealed pretty well. We'll go ahead and throw our iPhone in there. Now we want to get as much of the air out of the bag as possible and we'll seal it off. Now let's go ahead and put it in some water. Okay, so we've got our bucket of water here. I'm just going to go ahead, turn the phone on, and we'll go ahead and stick it in the water. It's scary, but the phone is in the water. Does the touch screen work? It does not. So you don't have many controls from outside of the water, but it is definitely submerged and it is definitely protected. It seems as though we're still sealed, so that's important. Now out of the water, the phone does work, but when you put it under the water, you get no touch capabilities at all. We'll go ahead and see if the camera works under the water, see how that is. It seems to be decent quality there. So it may just work as an underwater camera. We will see. We may have some moisture in the bag. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the phone off and open this bag up. There is some water in there. It did find a way to get in the bag. It is quite a bit. I don't know how it got in there, but the phone is clearly wet and the inside of the bag is clearly wet. All right, phone still works, so it wasn't a crazy amount of water, but some water did get in there. Now what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try doubling it up. We're gonna try two Ziploc bags. So we'll put the phone in one, put it all the way down there, empty out the air, seal it up. Now we'll get our second bag and we'll put the phone in that bag as well. Empty out the air. What we should have is a very waterproof contraption and we will find out. We'll bring the dreaded water back. Turn the phone on. Submerge. And it floats because apparently there's air but we'll hold it under there. Now what I have noticed is the touch screen seems to uh, have a mind of its own right now, but it seems to work. Yeah, it seems to work here. At least a little bit. At least enough. I think what it does, it works when there's air. Well, after all this time, I do believe our phone is dry. So let's find out. There's definitely water in bag number one. But bag number two, besides a little bit of water on my hands, it seems to have kept it dry, mostly. Maybe a little bit of water got in there, but if you need a short-term emergency protection against water, a Ziploc bag will do it. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the same thing, and I'm gonna go to my pool and see if I can take some underwater shots using this waterproofing technique. Okay, so I've got one bag on it, and we're gonna see. Now, as you could see, the Ziploc bag actually made a fairly useful temporary underwater case. 
it gave out pretty high quality video under the water. If the water was more clear, it would have been better video. But as you can see, you're still getting decent quality video through a Ziploc bag underwater. If you need something temporary that'll give you underwater footage, a Ziploc bag will work. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Have a great day and don't get shy.